Hi all, welcome to my channel Tech for today. We'll be discussing about email analysis done by Sockernist. From security standpoint, it is very important to identify possible phishing spam or spoof email, which will be targeting the employees in an organization. It is generally done by investigating or analyzing email headers. So by evaluating the email address, the Sockernist can conclude what kind of email it is, whether it is spam or spoofed. Also by investigating the body, if any URLs or attachments are present, he can conclude it is a phishing email. Usually in the case of phishing email, the attachment or URLs will be malicious, where the malicious malware will be residing, which can totally compromise the system. So here we will discuss about email address. Email address gathers the important information such as SPF, DMARC and DKM. It's also part of email authentication. As well as it also includes subject details, return path, then recipient details, etc. Then here we will discuss how we will get the email address. In the case of Gmail, if you click show originals, we can see the email headers. Then in the case of Outlook, if you go to the properties under file, we will get the email address. Usually, Sokolish will do manual analysis. There are different tools for doing that as well, like MX Toolbox we can use. Then how we will perform email header analysis in deeper note. So there are three parameters, SPF, DMARC and DKM. So usually for an unsuspicious email, SPF, DMARC and DKM will be in past stage. Suppose if you, if you take SPF is equal to short fail or hard fail, an analyst can conclude it is a spam email. And if you check the sender email address and the return path are same, then it is not spoofed. If the sender email address and the return paths are different, that means it is a spoofed email. Then the important and very critical analysis comes here, email body analysis. So here, so usually in the case of phishing email, we will see hyperlinks and URLs. So as an analyst, what they need to do is like, they will copy paste the URL in a notepad then they need to paste it in the redirect checker or any of the redirect checker websites. So they will understand whether the URL is getting redirected to any of the malicious email or not. So during that kind of scenario, they need to take that parent as well as the redirected URL and get it blocked in the any kind of security uh, me mechanisms. Then comes the attachment analysis. So here, the Sokernist can perform analysis by downloading the attachment. He can download and upload that email, sorry, att attachment to any of the open sandbox. So that sandbox will run that attachment or any of that file. So in that report, it will have the details of what kind of file it is, whether any code has been embedded in that file or it is actually malicious, any CNC communication has been established or not. So entire details we can get it from there. Another thing is like to get the hash value. Usually we can get the hash value via power, PowerShell. Uh, the below comment shows like get file hash. So this, uh, this generated hash value we can copy paste in any of the open threatened fields like virus total or IBM X force. If you paste that, we will get the reputation. So these are the methods how an email analysis is done by a Sokan list. So usually Sokan list will do manually and it is a preferred method for a good Sokan list to analyze emails. Thank you all. Till be continued. Thank you so much.